The Perla add-in for Microsoft Word makes writing papers easy. In this video, we'll create a perfectly formatted paper from start to finish using Perla. So let's get started. As a Microsoft Word add-in, Perla has its very own tab in the Word ribbon. So ignore the References tab that Microsoft Word provides. Its outdated formatting will only cause you frustration and lost points. Instead, use the Perla tab for all of your formatting needs. To start a new paper with Perla, we'll click the Create New Paper icon on the far left of the Perla ribbon tab. Then we can select the type of paper we need. Perla can create research papers, discussion posts, reference lists, and annotated bibliographies. When we select our paper type, Perla opens a side panel where we can fill in our paper's initial information. We'll just add what we need and then click the Create button at the bottom. Perla will generate our paper as a new Word document with all the proper page setups, text stylings, and a body section where we can start typing. I'm going to take and add just a little bit of text into the body so that we can see how Perla helps us create references and citations as well. Okay, there. Let's start by opening the Perla References and Citations panel from the Perla ribbon. This is where we can create new references, add references we've created before from our reference library, and create citations for references we've already added to our paper. For now, we'll click Create a New Reference to get started. We've got two options here. We can either search for a book, journal, or website reference using its DOI, ISBN, URL, or author and title. Or if we have any of the other reference types, we can create them manually in the All Types tab. But let's save some time by searching for our journal article using its DOI number. Perla will collect the article's bibliographic information and automatically enter it into the Perla reference form. Now we can use the help text along with each form to make sure that the information Perla found is correct. And since everything looks great, we can click Next at the bottom. Now we could add some optional information, like tags for categorizing our reference, but we're okay for now, so we'll click Create. That's it, Perla is going to create our new reference and add it to our paper for us automatically. Now we'll see the reference in the References and Citations panel on the side, and we'll also see it listed properly on the New References page at the end of our paper. As we create or add new references, Perl automatically adds them to our paper and is going to keep all of our references sorted and formatted correctly. Okay, now that we have the reference in our paper, we need to create a citation for it. First, we'll place the cursor where we want the citation to appear in our text. And then we'll click Add Citation under the reference in the References and Citations panel that we're citing. Once we enter the citation's information, we can click Add Citation, and Perl will create a perfectly formatted citation for us, right where we left our cursor. Now, when Perl adds text that has to have very specific formatting, like references and citations, Perl inserts those items in boxes called content controls. Content controls protect the text inside them from being changed accidentally, and they allow Perl to know exactly where those items are in your paper, so that if you make changes to them, we can update those items for you. All right, now one of the great things about Perla is that no matter how many references you add, citations you create, or items you insert, your Word document is still just a Word document. You can use Save, Save As, Print, or any of the other Word functions just like normal. But we've recently added one final feature to help you right before you turn in your paper. The Create a Clean Copy option in the Perla ribbon tab lets you create a clean, text-only version of your paper without the bits and content controls that allow Perla to keep track of references and citations. Create a Clean Copy is a great way to quickly create a final, cleaned-up version of your paper that you can submit to your professor. All right, there are a lot of other things that Perla can do that we didn't cover in this video. Perla can create different paper sections like tables of content, abstracts, and appendices. It can help you format your paper headings, add tables and figures, and help you use your research notes. But we've got articles, tutorials, and other videos covering each of those features inside the help panel in the Perla add-in or in our help center at perla.com help. We also have information in our help center about how you can use our web-based editor Perla Online and how you can get the most out of your paper's research with our Google Chrome extension. If you can't find an answer in our help center, you can always reach out to our customer support team via email at support at perla.com. They're available seven days a week until 10 p.m. Central and want nothing more than to help you if you're stuck. 
And that's it. That's how you create a perfect paper using Perla from start to finish. So why don't you stop worrying about your paper's formatting and let Perla handle it for you.